Okay, I've just torn out what I did on this uh, metal strip. So I was doing stockinette stitch and it was curling around. I'm thinking when I flip this over, it's going to be inside out. So I, find, I remembered what I had done is on these middle seven stitches, I did ribbing, the knit one, purl one. Um, it didn't curl and it didn't have a front and a back. Um, very clever of me, wasn't it? I just forgot that. I was knitting away and went, hmm, this isn't going to work. Okay, I've done my ribbing, knit one, purl one, for well, however long. You know, I kind of flip it over and go, okay, time to do a buttonhole. You should put the button right down there at the bottom. For the buttonhole, I'm just going to cast uh, one stitch off, and then I'll cast it on, so I'm going to knit. Uh, let's see, this middle fourth stitch is my middle stitch right here. So, I'm going to knit, purl, knit, purl, and in order to cast that one off, I've got to do one more, knit, and then I'm going to pull this one over. I've got to go on to a knit stitch. I mean, a purl stitch. Don't listen to me, just watch. And then a knit. Now, coming back the other way, I'm going to cast on over that one. So I'm going to purl, knit, purl. And I've got to turn it around the other way in order to cast on a stitch. I'm just going to do a cast on, turn it back, and I'm on a purl stitch here. A knit and a purl. Now I'll do one more row across, knit, purl, knit, purl. Really hard to see the little buttonhole because it's only one stitch, but that's where the hole is. Knit, purl, knit. Now I wanted to start making a V um, and start decreasing. So I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to purl two together and I'll do that. Purl two together, do another purl, do an it, do a purl, do another purl. And I'm going to knit two together. Curl one. Knit two together. And I'm actually going to end it there. I don't have any scissors with me. I'm just going to the yarn and I'm just going to take and pull that yarn through those three stitches like you might do at the top of a hat Okay, pull that together so it kind of makes a little a little pointy end, kind of, sort of. You've got your buttonhole right here. So, when you... One thing I ha always forget is that when I tie in this string, I tend to weave it in this side, and then I forget that that's going to be the side that's going on the outside. So this 
this thread needs to be woven into what appears to be the front of this because this is going over this way and we'll button right there so I will be weaving this piece on this side and of course I need to weave this one in but there is my top <laughs>